What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video. And in this one, I want to break down what's going on with Tesla, Spy, NVIDIA, and the QQQ. Talk about some very, very big news that just came out involving earnings and also how things are looking. I'm also going to break down what catalyst is going to be coming out for the stock market after the first 30 minutes of market open. But before I break anything down about what's going on with the technicals, before I talk what you should be watching for in the markets, let me just mention a couple of things. I'm firstly not a financial planner, so take nothing I say as financial advice. And also, if you guys can, please check out the Moomoo link, which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Moomoo, the link down below and deposit $100 into the account, you are guaranteed up to five free stocks. Now, this offer ends in just two days, so check it out before they run out. Anyways, let's break down what's going on with the market. So, looking at SPY, this thing is starting to pump a bit after we got the earnings that came out. Some very interesting things have happened with these earnings. So, just a couple of things to before the market opens. Let me talk about this first before I talk about the earnings. So far, the market as it has been trying to hold up uh, and overall, it's not looking too horrible. Just looking at it during the pre-market, we're starting to see futures improve a little bit as well. Uh, there's been a lot more violence in Israel. Things are just continuing to get uh, ugly over there. It's very, very sad to see more and more lives being killed. And, you know, the same thing is happening throughout the different uh, areas surrounding it. Uh, there's also this news right here about the bank earnings, which I will talk about in a couple of minutes. And there's also this right here as the UK regulators on Friday cleared Microsoft's proposed $69 billion takeover of a gaming company. This is once again good news for them. And that's pretty much it for now when it comes to news back in the markets. So now let's talk about the earnings. How are the earnings looking? The answer is this is very, very uh, good. In my opinion, the earnings were quite good, except they were also manipulated in um, some regards because everything basically beats earnings as the expectations were lowered so that this would happen. This could actually help the market, at least to some extent. So Progressive, they beat earnings on EPS and revenue. They beat Citigroup has beaten on EPS and revenue. They also beat, they're up 21 points. I mean, they beat by 21.6%, which is insane. Uh, JP Morgan Chase beat by 8.3% overall. They beat on EPS and revenue. Wells Fargo beat by 14.9%. EPS was a slight beat, but revenue was also a very, very big beat as well. And then PNC beat by 11.1%. They beat on EPS and revenue as well. Uh, on top of that, BlackRock beat by 21.8%. They, their EPS was well above estimates and their revenue was uh, very close. Uh, actually, I think their revenue was a little bit below, but still very, very close. Unity has also beaten. United Health has beaten on earnings, but just by a slight margin. Uh, besides that, we're seeing beat after beat after beat. So it's pretty crazy so far. Uh, estimates have been lowered a little bit to manipulate these numbers but because every single bank beats by some wide margins that could be bullish for the stock market to start us off now we have imports and export prices coming out i think they just came out and then we're going to be watching for the michigan consumer sentiment report 30 minutes after the market opens so there's going to be some high volatility when this comes out we're going to be watching the five-year inflationary expectations report as well when it comes to the options chain i just want to call out that Everything seems to be about the same, except we have very high volume for the $437 call strike. And then we also have a big increase in open interest for 438 So we're going to be watching to see if SPY can get to those levels. Uh, and then for puts, I noticed that there's a big increase in the 430 strike because that's where max pain happens to be. But the question is, will this just be a short squeeze that ends up kind of like screwing over these shorts? Or are we going to see the market try to hold up? Max pain is still 430 for SPY, so we'll have to wait and see. So looking at SPY, I just wanted to mention that we're starting to pump now because the banks ended up beating on earnings. If SPY could hold above this 435 area, you're going to be watching 436.5 to be tested, then 438. From a technical analysis perspective, the most likely move would have been like some kind of like pump, then maybe a slowdown as time goes on. But remember, the market is very manipulated. So if we keep going, you're going to be watching these resistance levels and see where we reject. So watch 435 as support right now, because we are technically above that. And watch if that breaks, watch 434 and 433 and then 432.5 as key supports. For resistance, watch 436, 436.5. 437 flat, and then 438. If we break above that, watch 438.5. And if we get above that, 440 is technically on the table. Uh, it looks like we're going to attempt to push up higher 
when we open, especially after these banks have just killed it with earnings. So we will see if we can get all the way up to this 438 area, if not 436.5. And we will see if SPY rejects and forms this right shoulder here and just kind of like rejects. Or if we don't do that, if we don't do anything like that, and we instead just like continue going. So we're going to be watching this test right here. Do we break 437 and start pushing for 438? Or do we get a rejection off a right shoulder? That's going to be very, very key for today. So watch that 437 area very carefully. But just know we're going to push when we open most likely. For the QQQ, we're going to be watching these key resistance levels. Watch 370 act against resistance. If we break that, we have potential to push up to 371. That's where we have this potential uh next resistance and if we break above that watch 372.6 uh if we break that watch 375 and for support watch 370 flat so we're actually we're just below that 368 below that and 366 the possibilities would be this thing is going to push like up to about 371 but we'll see if this breaks or not because this could be forming like a head and shoulders where if you have the left shoulder here a uh, head right here and then the right shoulder could be forming but if we end up breaking 371 then we're going to go all the way up to 372.6 possibly and there could be more higher uh, levels coming so watch that 371 test on the qqq if we break it that's going to be more bullish especially if we break above 372. If we get a rejection, then there's a possible head and shoulders. So, so we're going to be watching that very carefully. But it looks like we're going to push up a little higher to at least 371 on the QQQ, if not even higher than that. So upside does seem possible for the time being. We're going to be watching to see if this could break out or not. On NVIDIA, uh, on NVIDIA, you know, we're still trying to bounce right here. If NVIDIA breaks 472, watch for a push up for, you know, the highs we made yesterday for 475 plus. If we reject off, uh, you know, this resistance right here, off 470, this could come all the way down to 465. If that fails, let's watch 461. So what's, what does it look like it's doing? It's, it looks like it wants to push up higher towards this upper trend line to 472. And if that breaks, it could go even higher. But be warned that there is a possible head and shoulders developing. So if we get the rejection from here, then that could turn bearish. So if we reject like this, you know, we end up breaking below this wedge, then this could be the bearish case where we break down. But you have to be watching to see if we break below this yellow trend line. Do not turn bearish immediately. You have to be waiting to see for confirmation. And if we, you know, continue to break this and we don't get the rejection, then watch it test these highs right here. So that's going to be your test for today on NVIDIA. Do we break this trend line? Do we break 472-ish? Or do we end up getting a big rejection to form a head and shoulders. Now, max pain is well below where we currently are, so we will see about that. But there's a lot of manipulation going on, guys. If you look at what happened with the bank earnings, this is manipulation at its finest. Uh, and we will see if this ends up affecting the markets in a different manner because they, they could be trying to screw over shorts at the same time. So just be open-minded and see where we reject or not. As for uh, Apple, before I break down Tesla real quick, Apple is trying to push up. We're actually testing this resistance right here. If Apple breaks 181.5, we have the potential to push back up to 182.5 plus. If you reject off this, this could be a back test and we have to break below 180 to turn more bearish. So the bullish case would be us kind of like, if we break this trend line right here, we could push back up to 182.5 and we'll see if this holds or not. Uh, but if we end up failing, if we fail at this trend line like this, and we reject, you're going to be watching 180 very carefully. If that breaks, we're going to start sinking towards 178. So we're going to be watching this level right here, this 181.5 area. If Apple beats it, this thing can start pushing higher. If we reject off it, we could be forming a change in market structure and Apple could start sinking. As for Tesla, this is also looking very interesting. Tesla is starting to bounce as we expected, guys. We were talking about Tesla bouncing, but be very, very careful. So when Tesla bounces, it could be coming up right here. It's about 261. If Tesla rejects off this confluence of resistance, this could be from the bear flag right here. Tesla could continue to sink down if we get, get some kind of like rejection. But if Tesla breaks this resistance like this, you're going to be watching 262.5 as a key level. If we get above that, then there is potential for it to try to like reverse and this could be forming a kind of like an inverse head and shoulders instead and start pushing up higher by the time we get to Monday as we approach Tesla's earnings. So those are two bullish and bearish cases. In order for us to determine what's going to happen, we want to be watching this resistance right here off the trend line. Do we break 261 to 262? Do we get above that? If we do, Tesla could turn more bullish. 
if we reject off this 262 area, Tesla could start sinking towards the lower levels. Okay, Tesla's max pain is 260, so we will see what Tesla does. So watch this test very carefully. Now, the reason why I'm adjusting what I said from yesterday is because uh, I wasn't sure if we, we would see these massive beats by the banks and earnings, and that's what ended up happening. So this could adjust how things end up moving. And once again, guys, this is manipulation at its finest in the markets because, in my opinion, they lowered expectations so that the banks would look like they're doing very well. So anyways, that's wrap for this video. I thank you all so much for listening. Have an incredible day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you, and peace out.